What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a no spark, no start. I believe the issue is in the HEI distributor which has an ignition coil inside of it. And I believe that ignition coil is bad so I'm going to show you guys how to replace that. Alright, so we're going to start with the spark tester and what this does is you put it in between a spark plug and a spark plug wire and it lights up every time there is a spark. So if this isn't lighting up when you're cranking the engine, you're not getting spark. So now that we could see that there is no spark, I'm going to pull the distributor. Alright, so before you start pulling apart your distributor, you want to check and make sure that you're receiving power to your distributor. So unplugging this wire, you want to double check and make sure you're getting 12 volts when the ignition is on. And this green wire just goes to your tack. Now to remove your distributor, there's just a little bolt on a tab that holds down the distributor. All you have to do is loosen that and pull it back and the distributor will come right out. Alright guys, so here's the distributor that we took off the K10. This is the actual distributor cap that came off the truck when I bought the truck. Now, the one we pulled, this actually has a good coil in it. I bought the truck with this one which has the bad coil, so I'm going to show you guys how to test this coil. So. To remove a cap, there's just four of these screws, take a flathead screwdriver and you want to push down real hard on them and just turn it out to the side. And the cap should just come right off. So as you can see here, this gear down at the bottom of the distributor meshes in with the cam gear. So when your cam spins, it rotates your distributor, which rotates the cap. Now what this does is, as the motor's cranking or as the car's running, your camshaft's always spinning, so it's always spinning your distributor cap. So when this top piece is spinning, you can see there's this little tab here, which spins inside of your distributor cap. Now. Inside your distributor cap, there's eight of these little points, so every time it passes one, it pushes a spark through it. So each time one of those tabs gets a spark, comes out of the top of the cap, down the spark plug wire, and it sparks inside of the combustion chamber. Now what's commonly bad with these is if you look really closely, you can see there's carbon deposits or scratches or just the tab on the rotor can go bad over time. So you want to replace those commonly. Alright, so there's a coil inside of this cap. So how we're going to check that coil is we're going to hook it up to a 12 volt supply and we're going to run a ground from the distributor and a wire is going to go right above there and when we spin the distributor cap it should spark. If it doesn't spark the coil has gone bad. Alright guys, so here's the hookup. I have the distributor grounded on a 12 volt battery. I then have the distributor wires plugged into the cap. And then I have the cap power going to the battery, which is that little wire in the side. I then took off the cap and have just a welding wire vice gripped onto the distributor so it grounds. And now we're going to spin the distributor and see if it sparks. So now let's see if this one sparks. You see how extremely weak that power is? See if I come back up, it won't spark. But if I get really, really, really close, there's a very, very tiny spark. And that shows that the coil is going bad. Alright, so it's not time, nothing's done, I just threw the distributor in, 
threw the wires on. Obviously, you don't want your wires everywhere like this. This is just so I can get it done really quick. And I left a spark checker on there just, just so you guys can see what that should look like. And I'm going to try to start it and see if it works. Alright guys, so as you can see it was running now. Now I've got to time it. I'm going to change the wires and do some other stuff to it. Throw the air filter back on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe.